Hi, I'm James and it's time for a Bridges Tool Power drill update. Right, since the restoration of this drill, I've been using it very heavily for sanding projects mainly and we've encountered another set of problems due to the age of the drill. The vibrations were so high because I believe the uh, capacitor was so old uh, it has reduced its resistance that the, the drill has shook itself apart and shook all the screws out. Um, this handle has a, a large crack there. It's okay at the moment, it's been held in with, with screws and I've had to take this to the back here because I can't uh, find some replacement bolts at the moment and that's no problem. The fan also came loose because the rubber melted. That was um, obviously uh, forthcoming. So what I'm going to do now is put a stack of bolts here under the drill bit and somehow secure them there. And obviously we're going to have to make a new fan from an aluminium can. Okay, while attempting to get the washers on here, the rest of the handle broke off. So it obviously wasn't uh, secure and it was going to break anyway. So the only thing I can think of doing with this drill, other than throwing it away, is make it into a standstill uh, sander that sits on the desk in a vice uh, of some sort and it'll still be useful. And that way I won't have to splash out £40 on a new drill. So I've just taken the handle apart and they're just underneath this huge device that is actually only a switch. So I don't think we're going to need that. I'm going to plug it directly into the mains. Right, we've removed that unnecessary switch and now all we have to do is reconnect the wires and we can go. Right, that's the uh, switch removed and the mains wire welded straight into the motor. That won't make any difference at all. There was a few fuses on the earth wire. I don't know what those were for. And also there was a, I noticed there was a 5 amp fuse on the plug. So I changed it for a 13 amp. I don't suppose it'll make any difference because it's just a motor. I could be completely wrong and blow the house up, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. We're just going to plug it straight into the mains and just to check it works. Are you okay? Right, so we have the drill all prepared to be mounted. Now it has to now we need some way of uh, keeping it still on a desk without building something too complicated. So I've come up with a plank of wood here. The vise will hold the plank of wood in position and this will be taped to the board. Okay, here's the finished product. Uh, I think this is only going to be temporary as I can see this tape uh, vibrating off. It still needs a fan but we can use it for small periods without it heating up and uh, blowing up uh, too much. So we've got the clamp here clamping onto the desk, the plank with the drill taped to it, the uh, ACDC uh, main straight in there, no problems, no switch, and we're good to go.